Hi, I'm Deke. Welcome to Deke Pod, my series of once every other weekly videos on computer graphics and digital imaging. This is my chance to tell you what I really think about the state of future technology without some boss saying, you can't talk about a product before it ships. Really? Like it's some kind of secret that Adobe upgrades every 18 months? Like everyone doesn't already know that Apple's next operating system will be called Tabby? Oops. Today, Adobe announced Creative Suite 4, the fourth in their line of Creative Suites, which includes a lot of applications. I mean, one Creative Suite is like 1,200 programs. Who can keep up? But I know a few, like there's this one. It's a little obscure, but it's starting to catch on, Photoshop. Today's episode, Buy or Die, Photoshop CS4, in which I'll introduce you to the new program and its various new features. Mind you, I'm not gonna show you how to use those features. You don't have the program, so what good would that do you? When the program ships, I'll have more educational training than you know what to do with. It's been occupying my every waking minute for the last several months. Me, have a nice summer? Hell, I've holed up so long, I can't even remember what sunlight looks like. But for now, here's the idea. I'm gonna show you what Photoshop CS4 has to offer so that in five minutes, just five minutes from right now, you'll know whether to upgrade or not. Either you buy or it dies. Simple as that. And watch the whole thing. Because as usual, there are these marginally interesting features that Adobe thinks you want. And then there are these unbelievably great ones that I know you really want. The adjustment palette. Okay, so, what were formerly called palettes, Adobe is now calling panels. It's like saying what were formerly pancakes, we're now calling porcupines. Would you pour syrup on a lightly buttered porcupine? Me neither. I'm sticking with pancakes, by which I mean palettes. Anyway, there are two new sweetly syrupy palettes. First, the adjustments palette. Its mission, to take newbies, new users, and move them from static adjustments to dynamic ones. I love newbies. They're adorable. They don't even have quills. But the adjustments palette doesn't help them. It takes these commands and moves them into this palette. So now we have to work here instead of here. A relocation is not a feature. Ah, but there is this one hidden option that justifies the adjustments palette's existence. And then some. See this guy? Click on it. Drag. This way for more saturation. This way for less. Only available for a few adjustments. Hue sat. Black and white. Curves, baby. Sweetly syrupy curves. That thing, that's money. The Masks Palette. This next feature, the Masks Palette, I'll be devoting an entire deep pod to this next month. In the meantime, it lets you make, layer, and vector masks. These three buttons, static controls, give you access to features you already had. Yawn. But go to color range and see this? Turn it on to limit the range of your color selections. Minor, but handy. Not sexy. You want sexy. These two controls here, totally dynamic. Change them anytime you like. The first one in particular fuzzes the edges on the fly. Even works on vectors. Come on, dynamic mask blurs? Got to admit, there's nothing wrong with that. Dodge and burn. Next, the dodge and burn tools. Dodge lightens, burn darkens. No, the tools aren't new, been part of Photoshop forever, but so much better now. Before, paint with a dodge tool, it looked like you hit someone in the face with a fistful of pancake makeup. Burn tools smack them with a porcupine, instant melanoma. Now, dodge does this, and this is burn. So much better. These tools, they're actually useful now. Satanic imaging magic. Okay, then there's this other stuff. Adobe calls it advanced compositing. I call it magic. Honestly, I think some engineer thought, gee, this upgrade is looking a little light. Maybe it would help if I sold my soul to the devil. And I'm so glad he did, because here's what we got. First, take a bunch of photos at different focal lengths. See? Each one focuses on one area to the exclusion of all others. Photoshop can automatically blend them all into one homogeneously focused composite. Amazing! Then there's this. Please, just look at me for a moment. What I'm about to do, 100% real. CS4 just doing its thing. Choose this and drag here. And this happens. And it works for this and this. Holy mud flapping crap. Adobe bought this technology. They're a big company. They can buy anything they want. Still, they chose well. Clearly they bought this from some dude who sold his soul. Give it up for Satan. Open GL. Oh, so that stuff's amazing. But how often are you gonna do it? Dinner parties, sure. But here's the stuff you're gonna take advantage of, not every couple of days, but every couple of seconds. Slow, continuous zooms. Rotate the view. Get the hand tool and toss the image. Press a key and click and hold bird's eye. Who needs the navigator palette? They call it OpenGL support. I call it the addiction. Once this smack enters your bloodstream, CS3 will be dead to you. Oh, and every zoom level is a bicubically rendered thing of beauty. Conclusion. 
I'm done, that's it. And I didn't even get to the extended features. You a 3D artist with a background in cinematic medical imaging? Aw, you plus Photoshop CS4 extended equals match made in heaven. My verdict? What did you miss? Of course, I would get it. I'm not gaga over everything, I never am. But I love dragging those curves up and down. And every night, you know what I dream of? Salma Hayek and I tossing images with a hand tool. So enough demo. Either you buy it or die it. Up to you. Want to actually learn Photoshop CS4? I'll have you covered like you won't believe the very day Photoshop releases. For videos, www.lynda.com slash deke. For books with videos, deke.oreilly.com. And then there's the one site. The site to find them all, the site to bring them all, and in the darkness find them, deke.com. And really simple instructions. Go to iTunes, search for DeekPod, click subscribe. In the meantime, stay tuned. I've got many more satanic shortcuts to sell your eager soul here at DeekPod.